June 2011, Michigan State Police detectives and troopers executed a search warrant at Pete Peterson's property. They were led there by statements made by Robert Scott Knaus. Detectives brought with them forensic scientists from the State Police Crime Lab. A victim could have been burned uh, in, in a pit, and so we were asked to exhume uh, a, a fire pit <coughs> to look for human remains. Lucy and his team carefully dug into the remains of an old fire pit about six feet by nine feet, 850 feet from the road along a two track towards the back of Peterson's property. Each shovel full going into a five gallon bucket, then through a screen to capture anything larger than ash or dirt. There were some items that appeared to be bone and there were other items that we didn't know what it was, but it was porous. Um, not like rock or things like that, so we collected a whole bunch of miscellaneous uh, items. The state police then sent those found items to Michigan State University, where the items were identified as bone or not, and then human or non-human by the school's forensic anthropology lab. I was able to um, identify uh, numerous fragments that, that are human. Unmistakably human. Yes. Dr. Fenton says he was able to identify bone fragments from the spine, leg, toe, collarbone, and tooth roots. Further, Dr. Fenton was able to tell jurors that the bone fragments had been burned. Those fragments were then passed, despite objections from the two defense attorneys, to the jurors so they could get a good look at the fragments up close. In Manistee County, Tom Kramer, ABC 29 and 8.